to share some information about where he comes from in a fun way. Do you, do you want this? Um. All right. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start my speech with a question. Have you ever watched a movie that you felt really connected to and that made you emotional? And have you wondered how did that happen? A good filmmaker achieved this through lots of techniques and tremendous efforts. Cinematography, mise en scène, <coughs> cutting techniques, and many others. To extremely simplify, a good movie is a great storytelling through connecting lots of well-designed shots together. A typical two-hour movie contains on average 1,500 to 2,000 shots, with each one lasting five to 10 seconds. By now you might be wondering, I thought this is Shin's icebreaker speech, but I say saying things about movies. Let me explain. Last week, I was thinking really hard for what to say on my icebreaker to introduce where I come from. A lot of childhood memories start to reflect in my head. Those memory episodes are short, random, yet so profound to me that I couldn't resist a layman flood in. At one point it clicked. The feeling of watching those episodes floating by is very close to the experience when I was watching a movie and I felt really connected. So I said to myself, why not give you, fellow Toastmasters, a screenplay of a movie about shit? Let's start with a long exception shot capturing the small farm village I grew up in in China, an endless wheat field around it with a camera position starting from a very high angle, slowly dropping to a few kids lying on the ground. Moonlight shines on their face. They were talking loud about the star. in their eyes, and they were happy. The next shot comes with higher music. That's the kid was being dragged out of the bus. He is a little bit older now. His parents decided to take him to the school the town nearby. He had to leave his friends. It was unwitting, yet he had no power to say no. From that point, a series of cuts on short clips Some seem to show Saddam and Dunn four seasons passing those times. That covers 16 years of his school time through tears, some tears. But mostly spent further in a movie. Nothing really special happened. Only he was still curious about leaving his more science and technology. Now, the guy graduated from college, questioning where to go after leaving school. With many professional reasons, the important one be he always wants to see a different side of the world. It's a book that one will in your journey. Some years later, he has a family with two young kids, and he's working in the field always imagine. But now let's back up for a moment. Throughout making a movie, the director would often pause, piece of audience, and rethink. The director might own and I felt really As a kid growing up in a super small farm town, I spent the majority of my time in school, studying, preparing for test after test, and spent most of my post time working in engineering. That happened in my life in the my movie so far had hardly any shots as the audience. If it was to be released, it might have no competition for the most boring movies of the year. <laughs> and it definitely have the lowest. I felt frustrated. But then, good more. The story line hasn't ended. The camera is still rolling. That's still with the kid. It drives him to want to things that he doesn't know yet, or even more. It's one of the reasons he decided to join Toastman. Sending him to try a thing that he's always interested in, not having enough to try before in public speaking. By now, I should stop as my time is up. Through the shots that he's give you some brief idea of where I come from, why I joined Toastmaster. As the last stop, more thing for self <laughs> if there will be a movie review committee, I can grab myself that 
no major regrets when the screen closes and shows the end.